your life can take a turn for the worse within a week. Brooke Morgan was telling me about the week her uncle died. It triggered a split in her family and suddenly, aged 15, she had no home. The bereavement just spiralled out of control in terms of relationships, in terms of like health, mental health and things like that. So and it happened quite quickly? So quickly. And then suddenly you don't have anywhere to go? Yeah. For the next two years, she lived in a hostel, part of the UK's homeless. That group is getting bigger all the time. The number of rough sleepers on England's streets is 4,134, based on a single night last autumn. That's more than doubled in six years. But there's been a 60% increase since 2011 in the sort of homelessness you can't see. Over 77,000 households are in temporary accommodation. And that figure includes 120,000 children. Charities say explaining why is easy. House prices are soaring, wages are falling, and the local housing allowance, which is what um, government has put in place to help families, many of whom are working families, to bridge that gap, has been frozen. And today's National Audit Office report specifically points to those welfare changes as part of this new homelessness problem. But government says it is spending millions to try and eradicate homelessness altogether in a decade. £500 million over the course of the Parliament to address homelessness and there are particular targeted measures at particular parts of the country to help with that. But more of these are the answer, says the local government association, and it wants councils to be allowed to borrow more money to build more new homes. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.